everybody, it's John here from TheGamingEgg.com. Here we are today back in the Mini Golf DLC for Dead Rising 4, grabbing the number one Ball Buster achievement. This is to use all types of Ball Busters at least once. You are going to have to do this in online multiplayer. I highly recommend doing this with a boosting partner, and a boosting partner that has a ton of patience, because trying to boost this is actually quite difficult and tedious. Alright, so when you're playing a round of golf, you'll notice these question mark power-ups right here. They will only appear in online multiplayer, so keep in mind, this is the only mode you can get the achievement. So, uh, what you need to do is you need to make sure you make your way over there with both players. So, use both players' turns and move as close to the question marks as possible. I recommend doing this on the Golden Apple Vineyards, simply because the question mark things are easy to get in all four of the holes here, so keep that in mind. So just make your way towards the center, and uh, what you need to do is you need to pick someone who's getting the achievement, so I'm just going to pick my main profile. I'm doing this with two Xboxes because I can't find any help, and the online is super dead in this game. So what you need to do is you need to line up the shot just right. It needs to go through the question mark power-up, similar to Mario Kart, and if you manage to land it clean, you should get a power-up. So, it's going to be random, there are a total of 9, and you need to get all of them at least once. So, uh, just go through the list, get yourself a little checklist, and make sure you don't get duplicates. So, you're going to spin a wheel, and it's going to land on one of the players. The player it lands on actually does not matter towards the achievement. However, there is an achievement to use one on one of the players, and you get it right there. You should probably already get that since we are going for all nine of them. Since we are going to be get, getting so many power-ups, you are bound to get one at least once. So that's an extra achievement that I threw in. Keep in mind, you have to land the shots clean. So after getting the power-ups, your ball has to land in play. So if it goes out of bounds, you won't be able to use the power-up. It will just disappear off the board. So try to prevent that as best as possible. Whenever you're playing with your boosting partner, or if you're doing this with two Xboxes, your second Xbox, just make sure they skip getting any power-ups, and you should be good. So just keep going through the course. You do have to finish a game in order to save your progress. So you have to go through all four holes. But keep in mind, there are other opportunities in order to get more ball busters. You should get this done in about four to ten games depending on your luck. Once again, it's completely random. You have a one in nine shot of every time you get one of those uh, power-ups. So this uh, may take a really fast time. It may take a very long time, all depending on your luck. But just remember to keep track of which ones you have and have not gotten. Just like the mini games in Dead Rising 2, for example. So well, once you manage to get your last one, which once again should take quite a bit of time, so hopefully your boosting partner has the patience to do this. You can do this in private games. However, you do need to do this with multiple people. Sadly, you can't do this just by yourself, unless you're fortunate enough to have two or more Xboxes. But uh, once you manage to get your ninth and final one, you should get the last achievement. 10 gamer score for it, and that's all there is to it.